Hi, and good morning. I mentioned doing an earlier broadcast than usual. For a particular reason, I'll tell you about that in a, tell you about that in a second. Welcome to episode 631. And the topic today is, do you ask for what you want? Three keys that will help you. Before I jump into that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am, what I'm about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And that's what led to these talks, by the way, because these are talks are called Messages for the Masculine, Inspiring Your Feminine Heart. And I've been doing these now for over two years. That's why we're up to 631 broadcasts. And so the topic, again, it's funny, this whole week these topics have been gender, gender non-specific. So basically anybody can get value from this. But what I speak to is about asking for what you want. And the reason why I'm saying that is because right now, in fact, yes, right now, I've been in the middle of a conference call. But, <laughs> but I'm not because I asked for something. Actually, let me tell you that. So first of all, let me say, let me have you consider for yourself, do you ask for what you want? And I'm going to give you three reasons why you may not and three ways so you don't have to do that anymore. For myself, I've, I've had a very busy day already running around doing stuff, um, getting to change locations, go shopping, get, you know, take care of myself, and then heading out right after this to go set up and prepare for the Conscious Life Expo down at LA, which I, which I helped out set up yesterday. So back in there it's again today. And I had a conference call basically for right, right, right now that would be going on at this moment. Um, and... I, I, can, I knew I was going to do it, but I was like, well, I'm not going to have time to do my Facebook Live or any of the things I've got to do, and I'm, I'll be crunched, won't be able to rest, won't be able to stretch, all these things I wanted to do. It's like, oh, it's a bit crazy. But like I said I'd do it, so I was going to do it. Got on the call, and within the first two minutes, you know, she, she asked me how I'm doing. I said, well, a little bit crazy running around today, just been busy all morning, going to do this call, then dash out again. And she said to me, as I was thinking, I'd love to reschedule, she said to me, do you want to reschedule? And I was like, are you sure? She said, actually, she, knew, she was kind of busy too and wanted to reschedule. So it's perfect for both of us to move our conference call to next week. But the thing was, is I got such an instant reminder that when we ask for what we want with clarity, and I didn't even say it out loud, it was internal. I got the response back that I wanted. That was powerful. And I want to speak to this as a little lesson, a little teaching, because again, I have a fairly short window anyway, so I want to make sure this broadcast is out there, which is, when you are, well, let me, let me say this. There's three reasons why you may not, get, may not get what you want or may not ask for what you want. One of which is you don't even know what you want, so you're not even clear about it. Secondly, you don't have the courage to ask for what you want. And thirdly, which is almost the reason for the second one, is you have a fear of rejection. So let me break this down a little bit and give you some keys. So first of all, as simple as it sounds, you need to know what you want, which is like, duh. <laughs> Now, okay, I need to promote some things and share some things with you. If you don't have clarity about what you want, it's not going to help you get where you want to go. If that's in relationship or in life or in love or anything else. Um, I'm going to put some links in the comments and I'll tell you about those in a moment that will help you with that part. Secondly, well, first we get clarity. So there are different ways you can get clarity, whether it's just journaling or doing other uh, vision boards, other things too, which I'm not going to tell you too much about because I have an offering for that. Secondly, having the courage to ask for what you want is really getting clear that you deserve what you want. Because a lot of times, not asking for what you want is a place of feeling like, I don't deserve it, I shouldn't ask. So rather than feeling like I'm going beyond my comfort zone, I shouldn't ask, period. Well, the truth is you deserve all of it. You deserve the best because you're on the planet. You're a, you're a spiritual being, I'm a human experience, as I've talked about before. So you deserve the best, so be willing to ask. The third one, which is what triggers the second one a lot of times, is rejection. And this is something again, that I'm working on myself because I'm not an expert on, I'm not, I'm not a master of this, but I certainly know the understanding of this. Basically, rejection is a false premise. Rejection is simply not having what you didn't have in the first place. Meaning that you ask for something, you don't get it, you know what's something you were to start with. 90% of the things you ask for are things that would add to what you already have. But if you don't get it, somehow, well, I know, maybe it's just me. Maybe you don't, but maybe it's just me. Sometimes, sometimes I run the roots, the belief that, oh crap, I don't deserve it because they, didn't, they rejected me or I don't feel loved or um, they screwed me over or I'm judging them because they didn't give me what I wanted. All that crap. So here's the thing. Rejection is a false premise. Rejection is simply getting no for something you didn't have in the first place. So yes, you didn't get what you wanted, but you didn't lose anything either. So rejection doesn't have to be painful 
or should say it doesn't have to be as painful. So let you play with that one. So a couple of things I want to throw into the comments, and I mention what they are, um, links rather. One is, if relationships been one of those things that have been elusive for you, and this is for the ladies particularly, I have a program called Attract the Man You Want. And that is an online program that basically helps you build a vision that actually fulfills your heart, your mind, your soul, and you create that and attract what you really want in a relationship. So it's called Attract the Man You Want. I'll put the link in the comments. The second thing, which is for everybody, is basically um, how to have a vision and intention for every area of your life. So it's not just relationship. This one's a different program and it has some overlap but different working on, if you're working on a career goals or financial goals or spiritual practices, health and exercise, any of those things, all of those are included. And that's called your best life. And that I'll put the link in the comments as well. And just for the fun of it in the link, I'll put a third link in the comments, which is a contact form. If you have questions about this or you want to reach out for support, I'll put the contact link in the comments too, so you can find me and reach out and get some support. Because we shouldn't go through life not getting what we want. If we're on the planet, it's part of that physical experience to be in the flow of giving and receiving. Well, if you don't ask what you want, you can't get what you want. That's kind of obvious, isn't it? But also giving to other people. So sometimes when someone asks you for something, do you shut down immediately or do you offer them what they want? These are questions I'm leaving you. I'm not going to answer them for you. This is for you to play with. So my, inv my intention, my invitation, my suggestion to you is get clear about what it is you really want. Ask for it and don't be afraid of rejection. So simple. <laughs> Try it out and let me know how it goes. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, right now I've got to pack up and get over to the Conscious Life Expo, so I will see you later. Um, again, these broadcasts over the weekend, by the way, usually it's 5 p.m. Pacific time, but because the Wi-Fi in the hotel sucks, um, I'm going to be doing this when I can find time, which is probably going to be in the mornings this week, this weekend. So find me tomorrow when I'm going to do the broadcast. If you're watching at 5 p.m. Pacific time, this is a replay. Speaking of which, my Facebook Lives go out on my personal page first, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays go onto my business page, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. They also go onto my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to that, which is Barry Selby, of course. And the playlist is messages from the masculine. And also as a podcast, I've been slowly building with about, right now it's about 40 broadcasts um, of my earlier Facebook Lives in audio format called messages from the, from the masculine on iTunes. You can subscribe to that as well if you wish. And that will keep you busy. So with that, thank you for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow, probably in the morning. We'll see how things go. And uh, I invite your responses. Your thoughts and questions, you have any of those, put them in the comments below. I'll respond later on. And uh, ask for what you want. You deserve it. And then be okay if it doesn't happen. It's an interesting dance, isn't it? I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.